welcome to Zen Tech Teach, your center for teacher-created resources and tutorials. Hey all, Caitlin here from ZTT. The video you're about to watch will help you create an animated GIF snow globe using Canva. This video was specifically designed for my students and I to use, so you may hear me reference things like Schoology. Anything I reference on Schoology is particularly for my students. Each step in this video goes along with the Teachers Pay Teachers resource linked below in the description of this video. If you'd like to just follow the video along and give it a shot and try it in your own Canva, you will be able to successfully create your own snow globe even without those materials. So I hope you have fun. And if you make something cool, share it with me on social media. You're now starting part two of the snow globe project. In this section, you're going to create an animated GIF of yourself. The action you planned in step one. Now you need to actually take the video. Your video can only be between five and 10 seconds long. Things to keep in mind. In your plan is the picture or video view, a full body shot, half body shot, what is the action? If you need someone to take the video for you, please ask a family member that's home with you right now. You can also use a self timer on your phone. If you're taking the video from your phone, I'm going to leave you some links about how to upload it in the following steps. Some advice for taking your video. We're going to be using a background removing app. It's free, it's online. The best video that you can get is going to be a video that has a very neutral background already. I'm in front of a green screen. This creates the best background removal. You can create a similar effect by standing next to or against a blank wall. Not a wall with pictures on it, not outside of your house. You can even lay on your floor if that's the only blank space, as long as you can still create the action. I'm going to show you the video that I created, and then I'll show you how to remove the background. I knew I wanted to be in an actual snow globe with snow. So even though I'm inside my house, I put on my coat, my gloves, my hat, and my boots to make this video look authentic. I took a couple different shots so I had options in what to use. Each video must be very short and the action is going to repeat. Here's my first video. Very right, right? In this video, I'm going to be knocking on the glass of the snow globe. Here's another try. Okay. Here, I'm going to be blowing snow. And finally, I'm going to be eating snowflakes. Try to keep your body within the frame. You'll see I actually cut my fingers out of this video. And when you remove the background, it's not like those fingers magically reappear. So, Take a moment to create your video. If you're like me and you want some options, you could take more than one. Each video needs to be less than 10 seconds. In step two, you're going to need to get your video from your phone to your Chromebook. There's a few different ways to do this. You can email it to yourself. You can upload the video to your Google Drive or if you're using a Mac like I am and you have an iPhone, you can airdrop it. Take a moment to figure out how you're going to send yourself your video. You'll see some hyperlinks in your document that can be helpful. They're going to lead to a video and this video can help walk you through the step-by-step -step process of sending yourself the video from your phone to your Chromebook. Step three, you need to download 
wherever you've uploaded that video. So for example, if you've placed this video into your Google Drive, you're going to right click and select download. This will save the video to your Chromebook. If you've attached it to your email, it's going to look like this. Opening up your Gmail, you'll see the email you sent yourself and you'll see the file here. You can click the file to download or hover over the downward arrow to download. You can also save it to your Google Drive if that's easier for you. The final way is airdropping, and you can only do this if you have a Mac. If you've never done an airdrop before, please feel free to reach out to me so I can help you. Now that we have our video on our computer, we're going to go to a website called OnScreen. All we need to do is drag and drop the file and watch the magic happen. The background is going to disappear. I have my file downloaded right here, but you might need to click the blue upload clip and search on your computer. I'm going to drag my file anywhere onto the web page and it's going to start removing the background. Once it's finished processing, you'll be able to watch what the GIF will look like and you'll notice if there's any super obvious imperfections. If there are, you wanna take your video again and try to go to a more neutral background. The more neutral your background, the better the background remover can identify what's you and what's the background. You'll notice a little part by my me in this video where I was standing in front of an outlet on the wall and the program's not sure if that outlet is part of me or part of the background. This isn't a huge issue, so I'm going to leave it as is, and I'm going to move on to the next step. Final step for part two is to download. You can click the blue download button, and if you want to save this for later use for something else, you can actually look at the different options. Animated PNG is going to work in a Google Doc. A GIF is going to work on almost anything. Let's download. Once your download is complete, it will be saved to your Chromebook and you can move on to part three of the Snow Globe project. To finish your Snow Globe, move on to the final part, part three, in the next video.